This happens for a couple of reasons. During the day, your sympathetic nervous system is more active and this helps regulate your heart rate, your blood pressure. At night, our parasympathetic nervous system takes over and becomes more dominant. So this means that heart rate, blood pressure, and things like that can actually become more erratic. Luckily for us, most of the time we're sleeping, so it's not something that we notice. So with POTS, obviously having fluctuating blood pressure or heart rate isn't a good thing. And so this can exacerbate symptoms, have an inappropriate release of adrenaline, which will often wake you up because your body thinks and your mind thinks that something really bad is happening and that you need to be awake, unfortunately, to deal with it. Your kidneys also play a really important role in fluid regulation in your body. So at night, they are filtering through all the excess waste and discarding and getting out of your body, which is why we're lighter in the morning. Unfortunately, we're lighter due to dehydration. So this is something we need to deal with as well because throughout the night, as you actually become more and more dehydrated, this is also gonna cause these symptoms to happen. And this can also cause these inappropriate releases of adrenaline. Something that I incorporate is having an electrolyte drink right before I go to bed. So I do about 20 ounces of water and a scoop of scratch. I drink it really quickly within 60 seconds, which tells my body, hey, I need to hold this. I refer to it as camel drinking. It essentially triggers a, a reaction in your body that tells your body to hold onto this water. So that way, when you wake up, that your symptoms aren't as bad and throughout the night, not having these adrenaline surges as well. So at a minimum, it will help reduce them. Um, at a benefit, as you move on through a program like SALT, um, it actually can help completely eliminate them as well because it's, I know it's scary. You wake up, your heart rate's really high. Um, it just feels like something's wrong. You know, it's, it's not such a great thing to have. So anyway, I hope this answers your question. This is kind of why it happens and things you can do to help reduce it and hopefully eliminate it.